Okay, guys, so as promised, I want to talk about e-com businesses. So e-com businesses really have two really big problems when they're scaling. One, it's going to come from just not catching sales, first and foremost, but two, it's going to come from crisscrossing traffic because a lot of e-com businesses are running on Google and Facebook and they consistently take massive amounts of credit for each other's sales. On top of that, because of how they track sales, you're gonna be sending all sorts of weird data back to their offline conversions. I'll talk about that in a later video, which you can see again below this video once we have the full higher scaling and saving course up, showing all of our features and advanced tactics you can use. Let's just look at a standard e-commerce business right here. This is why it's so deadly, okay? If you are looking at your, your ads, which come down to micro margins right here. So for example, you can see right here, the cost right here was 300 and Google reported $432 just in this one campaign right here. Okay, this doesn't look like a campaign you should scale until you actually look at the real revenue. It came in $694, okay? This is a 2X ROI campaign. You should be scaling this aggressively. Facebook caught, didn't, didn't catch nearly half the sales right here. You look at this campaign right here, you're running your e-com ads, you're not gonna scale. You might scale to another 10, 25%, you might ignore it. That's goof troopery. You need to be scaling this thing super hard. Again, same exact situation right here on these two campaigns. In Facebook, it's showing maybe a 25%, 50% ROI. These are nearly 2X profitable campaigns. Right? You can see $231, $32 in. Google only reported 337. There was actually $510 in sales. Look, you're just not gonna scale the campaigns that you should be scaling when you're missing literally half the sales, you can see the sales discrepancies right here on this green board right here. Report versus revenue. It shows what Google and Google or Facebook report in this situation versus what we caught. You gotta be scaling campaigns that are profitable. A lot of these campaigns right here, if you actually look at the Google stats, the reporting is unprofitable. They're not gonna get scaled. For example, this one right here is barely reporting a profit. It's barely reporting a profit in, in Facebook, yet it's massively profitable. It was $160 discrepancy off of $72 in cost. All right, that's huge. This is, this is a campaign right here that is not being scaled. It is a campaign that is massively profitable and not getting the love it should, even though it's generating nearly a 3X ROI at this point, actually a 4X ROI nearly. You do, you do this with your e-commerce commerce stores, you're gonna be shooting yourself in the foot. This is an easy, easy, easy way to increase your sales by 15 to 20% just by using correct stats. If you're not using correct stats, you're not scaling with the correct stats, therefore you're making wrong decisions. Wrong decisions lose money or at the very minimum, stop you from making more money. You have to make correct decisions, which is finding campaigns that are making money and then spending more on them to make more money from them. You don't do that, you're not gonna get that equation. It's not gonna work out that way because you're gonna be spending less money on your most profitable campaigns, just like this client was doing right here. Here's what gets really nasty though, because they take credit for each other's sales. You're gonna see a lot of times, Google, for example, right here, is gonna take credit for the sales since they finished the sales. They have, they have sales searches right here. What you're gonna see many times is Google will take credit for sales. What you're seeing right here is Google taking credit for sales that they have nothing to do with. And this causes you to invest money in campaigns that actually lose money, okay? This campaign right here, revenue-wise, really didn't generate as much revenue as Google said it did because this revenue is actually coming from up here, okay? But Google's gonna give itself a nice juicy view-through conversion or extra conversions right here and get you spending money on campaigns that aren't nearly as profitable as they should be. You can see it over-reported by $2,000 while Facebook is super under-reporting right here. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna come down here and you can put money in this campaign. It's not making as much money because of the metrics you're reading in your dashboards and your native dashboards and you're going to invest money in campaigns that aren't making you money and avoid campaigns that are making you money. Look, I don't think this is really that hard to grasp. If you go and put money in campaigns based on wrong metrics, which are, which are filled in your dashboard right now, currently in your current dashboard, if you put money in the campaigns that aren't making you that much money, you're not gonna make that much money. And if you take that money that you're putting in those campaigns and put it in campaigns that are making you a lot of money, you're gonna make a lot more money. This right here is where you easily see these 15 to 20% guaranteed results that we see, we see people get at high risk all the time. We've seen people double and triple their businesses as well. But even on the low end, people are going increasing their ad ROI by 15 to 20% just by using the correct stats. This is the most basic of basic ways to use higher. So there's so much advanced stuff I'm gonna show you a little bit later on. But this is lesson one, scaling. You gotta focus on campaigns that are making you money and then you scale them. If you miss those campaigns, you don't scale. And this is how I would use this for an e-commerce store. This is a perfect example of how to use these stats in e-commerce 
when you're looking at your store, it will show you this, the, the ad campaigns are actually much more profitable and you should be digging a lot more into. An extra 50%, 100% in profit is not something that should be ignored when you're scaling. Okay, and if you're ignoring that, you're not scaling nearly as well as you should be. You're not making nearly as much money as you should be. Just by default, the stats are already in your account. The money is already there. You just have to get the correct stats and take it. That's it.